Hey guys, this is AI Builds and we're the AI Brothers. We make many Lego Technique creations and give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make them. In today's build, we're going to be making the Lego Technique engine. It's got an input, a piston mechanism in between, and then an output. So let's get into the build, shall we? Here are the pieces you'll need for this build. You will need 12 of these connectors, 8 of these connectors, 2 of these axles, 2 of these axles, 2 of these, 2 of these. Three of these, eight of these uh, piston arms, eight of these piston holders. We have eight of each of these because we're making a V8 engine. If we were to make a V6 engine or a V4 engine, we would have six and four respectively. So let's get on to the step by step step by step instructions. The now for the step by step instructions on how to make the Lego Technique V8 engine. First, you get this type of piece with the lift arm and the axle coming out. Then you get two piston arms. Make as you can see, one side's got the circle right here, like this, and it's got a gap. So make sure that the circle is touching the lift arm. Then get the other piston, but instead of putting it like this, you turn it around and put it like that. As you can see, mine fits in perfectly. Then you get a skin color piece, a tan piece, and you put it in. Make sure that both the lift arms the lift arm and the skin color piece is facing upwards. Then you get a red axle and you get two more piston arms. Again, put them in the same way you put the first two in. Like so. Then get another tan piece colored piece but this time, make it make sure it faces downwards. Next, get a red colored axle and put it in this hole right here. As so. Then, put the two piston arms in the same way you did for the previous hole. As such. And fine again, finally, put the tan piece color in the tan colored piece in. For the last two pist uh, piston arms, you will have to work backwards. Make sure that this time the lift arm piece is facing downwards. Then you get the piston arm with the circle touching the lift arm. And then you get the other lift, uh, the piston arm. This time, make sure that the gap is touching the other gap. As so, and place it in. This is step one for your engine completed. Now, Mr. A will continue the Lego Technic V8 engine for part two. You'll first need. A piston holder, one piston holder, two black connectors, and then put one black connector on any side in the hole, as you can see. Next, do that the same thing on the other side. 
after that do the exact same thing with the exact same pieces Repeat this step twice. Now, put this in. Now, as I said, repeat this step twice. So do the exact same thing as you did for these, for that. Finally, place the last piston holder in. Do the same for the other side. Congratulations, you've completed part two of the Lego Technique piston, uh, Lego Technique engine. Lego Technique. Now, Mr. I will finish this Lego Technique creation by doing part three. So, you get your piston holders, the black pieces, all the blue connectors, the piston arms and the two axles this is what you need for your last part we will start with one of these so you get two blue connectors and you place them in the holes then you get this black piece and put these two in here and here as so then you get your piston arms and you carefully slot them into the holes as so then you get the other piston holder and repeat the same thing. Now, this may be quite hard to hold for young children, so adults or friends or siblings could help you. Now, you hold the uh, piston, the second part of the piston holder in place, and You put the blue connectors in, into these two holes. Now this is secure. We will do the same thing to the other side. You get one, put it through the hole, another, another, and the last. Then you get this, put it in place and push. Finally, get the axles and put it in this middle hole. This will connect it to this so that it can start spinning. Normally, people would put uh, um, Lego Technic motor here or something that is connected to the motor. Whereas this side, doing the same thing, people would connect the wheels or the output to. As you can see, we have now completed the LEGO Technic V8 engine. Hope you liked our video. Like and subscribe and, and enjoy! enjoy.